October 19, 2004, the Yankees hold a 3-2 lead over the Red Sox in the ALCS with Game 6 to be played at Yankee Stadium. The starting pitchers were Kurt Schilling of the Red Sox and John Lieber of the Yankees. Schilling pitched with a torn tendon sheath in his right ankle which was sutured in place in an unprecedented procedure by Red Sox team doctors. The game was scoreless till the fourth inning when Sox second baseman Mark Bellhorn hit a shot into the left field stands. The ball struck a fan in the chest and dropped back into the field where left field umpire Jim Joyce signaled that the ball was still in play. After a discussion with Sox manager Terry Francona, the umpires huddled and overruled the call, giving Bellhorn a three-run homer and the Sox a 4-0 lead. Despite his injury, Schilling provided seven strong innings, giving up only one run on a Bertie Williams homer before leaving the game completely exhausted and his sock soaked in blood. Bronson Arroyo would take over for Schilling in the eighth and give up a quick run on a Miguel Cairo double and a Derek Jeter single. With Alex Rodriguez up, what followed was truly bizarre. A-Rod grounded a pitch back to Arroyo, who scooped up the ball and ran down the first baseline to tag Rodriguez out, who slapped Arroyo's arm and glove, knocking the ball loose. As the ball rolled down the baseline, A-Rod advanced to second and Jeter scored. The umpires huddled again and called Rodriguez out on an interference and ordered Jeter back to first. Yankee Stadium erupted as fans rained debris onto the field, prompting Francona to remove his players from the field for safety. The NYPD, in full riot gear, restored order and remained on the field field for a full inning. Sox closer Keith Falk would keep the Yanks off the board in the ninth and secure the game for Boston. The Red Sox, the 26th team in Major League Baseball playoff history to face a 3-0 series deficit, became the first to force a Game 7. That was October 19th, This Day in Baseball.